You ready? Okay. We'll get y'all seated down. Sat down. I'm going to say a little something. Hey, it's Joe Gleason. Can I speak to somebody in the web? Thank you. to get this going. Guys, I just want to thank everybody for, for being here on this huge day. Um, one that you guys have thought about for a long, long time, huh? All right. Guys, this is what we're going to do. Dr. Smith is going to talk a little bit. Coach Wilson's going to talk some. These wonderful men are going to talk some, and then we are going to sign, and then Channel 13 wants to talk to them, and then everybody's going to come and get pictures taken, okay? Everybody good with that? All right? Okay. Fellas, I just want to tell you guys, um, I appreciate everything that you have done for our entire program. Your leadership, your attitude, talent, obviously, but your uh, gator first mentality has turned us around. And I just ain't really want to say thank you. Appreciate everything that you did for us, guys. All right. So I want to say that you are going to come back here in four years with a college degree in your hand. Yes? All right. Yeah. Right? I am so proud of you as all of your teammates and your teachers and your coaches are. We're so proud of you. I want to challenge you. I'm hoping that you're leaving a little bit of your heart behind here in Dickinson at Dickinson High School with the Gators and you're taking a little bit of us with you in your heart to where you're going. Uh, we look forward to great things from you, and we thank you for your leadership, not only on this team, but in the hallways and in the classrooms, and we're very proud of you. And I guess we need to work on maybe adding maroon to our school color scheme or something here. So uh, I'm very proud of you guys, and I just want to remind you, I want you to take this with you. We're all going to take it with us. On time, on task, and on that mission, right? So you've already accomplished this mission. There are going to be lots more in your life. So onward towards that mission. Okay, guys, congratulations. Job well done. All right, I just want to say to you guys, man, I'm, I'm um, proud of you guys. Uh, our sports motto here, our athletic motto is Gator Pride. And so you guys, coach, talk about if you can help the Gators win, do that. And so I appreciate you guys uh, and being two multi-sport athletes and, and just helping the Gators win. And I'm just proud of you guys. And just in your new venture and journey, acknowledge him and, and he'll, he should direct your paths. Good job. Go Gators. Good job. Um, I just want to thank everybody for coming here today. Oh, get up. I want to um, first off thank God and thank thank you to my family because um, without them I wouldn't be here right now. And um, everybody here, I'm pretty sure has played a part in my life. Um, no matter how big or small, it's all made a difference in um, who I am today and um, how long I've came. 
And um, it's just been some crazy four years, and it's went by faster than I would have thought it would have gone. But I just, it won't be another four years like this, so I'm glad I took um, advantage of what happened. And um, I've been able to spend four years with y'all. So I just want to say thank you to everybody again. And um, I'm ready to start this next chapter of my life, but I'll never forget this one. And go Gators. I just want to thank the, uh, I just want to start by thanking God and say thank you for this opportunity you put me in. And I want to thank the coaching staff and the uh, teacher staff. And I want to thank the trainers over there. And just say I'm thankful for this opportunity. I got to go play next level and uh, see what I can do. And I'm just, I just want to say I appreciate my brothers. I had a good, fun year with y'all. We can sit, hey, for real. Hey, but we out, 40 out. I just want to say thank you to everybody that came today, everybody that's here, my family, my friends, my teammates, my brothers, the trainers that's always helped me every time I was um, hurt, injured, uh, anything, Coach Wilson, Coach Nelson, um, Ms. Smith, the whole, the whole um, coaching staff, they always been there. Uh, even the coaches from McAdams, they always came back, helped, talked to me. Um, thanks for Coach Anderson. I just want to say thanks to everybody. I love y'all. <laughs> Go Gators. All right, guys, now for the moment of truth. Let's go ahead and sign. Seven a.m. Y'all already sent that in. Yeah. Well, I sent the photo. That's good. Thank you. 
You finished, Jason? Did you sign this morning? Here you go. All right, Donovan, you're... It's not pointed at me. You're, I get it. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, you're live, man. You're live. Oh, it's live? Yeah. You can just take it off there, Donovan. Today and what, what this uh, what this means to you? Um, it means a lot to me, you know, um, just being able to do this in front of all of my friends and family. It's just it's just a reminder that I made it. And Texas A and M is obviously who you chose. Tell our live stream viewers why Texas A and M was home for you. Um Texas and M Texas A Texas A and M was the reason because um, the first thing I would look at when I was um, getting recruited is how people use their tight ends and just going to their games and looking at their atmosphere and just seeing how they treated my um, past teammate and just how they gave him the ball and just how they utilized him and um, set him up for success is just what I'm looking for. You're talking about Jayla Watermeyer. Mm -hmm. He came to school here. Just seeing him flourish there at Texas A&M, is that give you an idea of what you can do if you work hard? For sure. It, it, it gives me a, um, a future image of what I'm going to do in the future. And when, when I see that they know how to use tight ends in a good way, I just know they'll do the same with me. Now you posted your grades uh, not too long ago. Yes, sir. That component had to have played in a little bit. Tell yes. me a little bit about the education part of Texas A&M and why you know, that was important to you. Um, the education part is important. Um, it's, it's always number one. It's student before athlete. And so, you know, looking into the, to their um, um, their program and their grades and all of that, um, football is one day going to end. And so you have to have a backup plan or something else to do besides that. So going to a good program that's known for their um, known for their education, I mean, it, it plays a big part in what you're going to do after football. So that's a, a perfect program for me to go to. Talk about your journey from where you came from as a little boy is this something you dreamed about? And talk a little bit about those, those dreams and what, what you still have uh, that you want to accomplish out there. I mean, growing up, I've, sports has been like my whole life, you know, playing basketball since I was three. I've been playing football since I was four. So growing up, it's, it's always been football. It's always been working out every day, going to games on weekends, driving hours away just to play sports. So um, just being now that I've made it to the next level that every kid dreams of, it's just – I'm just trying to work harder and harder to achieve my goal to go to the next level after this one. So I'm just I'm just ready for it. Lastly, the catch grades, we're not done yet. Yes, yes. Talk a little bit about what that means because you have been instrumental and in, you brought a whole new meaning to the word recruit. Yeah. Not only a recruit, but you help recruit. I mean, you can't leave it up to the coaches all the time. You got to step in and take action. So being able that I can recruit other people and to bring better people into the program and just make my class even better than what it could have been. Me stepping in, it's, it's added more people than you could have imagined. So later today and coming in the future, you, you're going to see what's going to happen. Later today, you want to give us any uh, previews? Just later today. Okay. Just later today. Donovan, I appreciate no everything, problem. man. You've been great. No problem. Thank appreciate you. it. PJ. Or, or, okay. Jay. Let me get Jace. Jay Caldwell, yes, sir. defensive end, yes, sir. Missouri State, still going to okay. pick you up. Just talk a little bit about this journey and, and what today means to you. Uh, this journey is a hard journey. I went, I went and tried my hardest to uh, this whole season, try to get get an offer. I was striving for an offer this whole season, work my hardest, and just every every game I was doing better and better. It was just making better uh, goals every every game and and just striving for it. So what was uh, what was it about Missouri State that made you feel that was the place you wanted to be. When I went up there to the campus, man, the coaches, they made me, uh, Coach Scott and Coach Tremaine, they made me feel like I was at home, man. I, they all let me come around the uh, campus and all the other head coaches and uh, the football players. It just all, they all welcomed me, and welcomed me and making me feel like it was at home over there. So, and I love uh, the football facility over there. Facility yeah. Well. So what are they getting there? For people that aren't familiar with you, what do you like to do out there? What's your style? What are the things that, that you know, your mentality when you're on the field? When I'm on the field, you know, I just 
I just always got – I'm always trying to get to the quarterback. That's the fastest – just the fastest way to get uh, to the quarterback, you know. So I'm just thinking the person in front of me, I got to beat him, whatever do, whatever I got to do to beat him, just hit him with a quick move and get around and get to the quarterback. What has coming to Dickinson done to help you get to this level, not only on the football field but – you know, in the classroom and the community, it's a it's a really tight knit place out here. Yes, sir. The, the teachers they, they the teachers do help you. They do play a big role. They play a big part and big role in this uh in this uh game right here because they help you a lot throughout all all the things you need. When you need help with work, or anything you need, talk to them about anything. Teachers will be there for you. The coaches, the coach like Coach Nelson, he helped me a lot throughout this uh this evaluation through all these colleges. I was trying to pick who I was gonna go to. Coach Nelson helped me a lot, man. I can say. All the coaches and all the teachers, they're, they're real help when you need them. So what does this mean to you and your family? You know, they're throughout life here in your young life, I'm sure they've sacrificed yes, sir. to help you get to this level. Yes, sir. Can you just talk a little bit about that sacrifice and, you know, some parents or your, the adult figures in your life that have helped you, maybe a youth coach that have helped yes, you sir. Get, get here? Yes, sir. I, uh, my mom, my mom, she sacrificed a lot for me, man. I could uh, – I can say my mom, she 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 put a lot to the side for me, and I uh, really give her a lot of glory to what, for what I got now. Because if it wasn't for my mom, man, I probably wouldn't be here now. Because she 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 had to put a lot of things aside just for me to go do a lot of things. Because she was a single mother with four kids by herself, raising kids, and she made a way for me, man. She always made sure I had good things on my feet and always had food in my stomach. So I just gotta make sure to give it to my mom, man. So what number are you in the four? Are you oldest, youngest? Oh, uh, I'm the second, uh, second uh, youngest. Okay. Yes, yeah, so my mom just had. Oh, well, not just. I got a little brother. He's seven years old. Okay. I was the youngest, but he came, took my spot. Yeah. Well, congratulations, man. Thank yes, you sir. for joining us, and man, good luck. Appreciate you. Enjoyed it. Yes, sir. Okay. Let's see if we can get Coach Snelson in here while uh, PJ's talking with another media outlet. Coach, I appreciate it. Head coach and athletic director, John Snelson joins us. John, coach, uh, we've known each other for a long time, and I admire your work out here. Uh, Thank you. Great community. Just talk a little bit about what today means to not just these kids, but this, this community. Well. It's a game changer because this is going to give everybody hope, you know, and everybody needs hope. And a lot of our uh, kids see that if you persevere, put in all that time, effort, that um, uh, she can make it out and um, dreams actually do come and true. So uh, we got two guys, A&M, one guy, Missouri State. Uh, Let's talk a little bit about each one of the A&M guys first. Yeah. We'll, or just all three of them, if you, if you don't mind. Yeah. Donovan Green's top shelf, just human being, you know, the, nobody better. You know, it just comes outstanding family. Uh, it's a great, great teammates, obviously very, very talented. Um, you know, just uh, super, super proud of him. As good as he is and everything else, he's probably the best teammate that I've ever coached. Uh, and P.J. Williams, just an ultra talented young man. He's 17 years old, man. He's still just a baby, uh, you know, and just loves, loves, loves to have fun. A sucker made practice fun, meeting fun, weight rooms fun, and. Uh, you know, that guy's got a very, very bright future as well. And uh, Jason Caldwell has overcome a bunch and uh, just a super, super young man, talented, um, was a uh, basketball first kid. And so we really haven't got to develop him much, but that rascal was going to be a monster. Well, Coach, I appreciate your time and, and congratulations again on, on – you know, teaching these kids the right way to do things and getting them in school. Thank you, Joe. Appreciate it. Appreciate you, bro. Okay, man. Can I grab you right quick and then let me get this out the way here? All right. <laughs> Sir.
impressive day. Congratulations. What the, just talk a little bit, put, put today into perspective for, for me and for the people that, you know, are um, familiar here. This day just been a big assignment to me. Um, I've been excited all day, all night. Um, talked to Coach Hanson last night. It was just, I was just filled with joy. I really don't know what to say too much to get my words out. This is just a big moment for me. I feel like I'm about to cry later on today. I'm just so excited. Just talk a little bit about the, the your journey. Coach said you're 17 years old. It's, it's crazy to imagine that, you know, somebody of your age yes, has been able to achieve the things that you've been able to achieve. Uh, my journey, it's it been a long journey, up, ups and downs, and hard works, injuries. Uh, ninth grade, broke my ankle, set in stone before I even knew I was going to play tackle. Uh, so I was coming off an injury, trying to work on playing tackle. So as I was doing my rehab, I was working on Keep sliding. It's not, I never did it before, so that's that's what I've just been working on. And then my mom, my family, me and D Green, basketball, AAU, long nights, football, football games, long nights, going through Lily, everything just been a great ride. Yeah, you and Donovan have been together for a long time. I mean, how long have you guys known each other? Uh, I started playing football since I was seven. So when I was seven, we well, was two biggest on the team. So <laughs> it was just me and him. Well, what's that like? Uh, you know, obviously he's one of your best friends here. You yes, know, sir. Going on this journey together from seven years old to now. That's just awesome because we've been seven, then middle school, then high school, and now college. That's just a big accomplishment. Um, I don't know too many people who did it, or I really don't know too many people who have did it because me and Donovan just been there, other than, like, people that's twins. Because mm -hmm. me and Donovan have been there as good friends so far this, this, this long ride, so... It just been us, so it just been a exciting moment for us. Even when we committed to a we talked about it together. We talked about a and was the right place for us, so. Yeah, so y'all committed together uh, January 21st. What was it about a and for you that that was a good fit? Um, a and just felt like home. Just talking to Coach Hanson, Coach Hanson was one of the coaches that just called me every week, consistent. Um, he always talked about things that could help me get better and, and things that I could do just to be a better player in the future, not even just being an Aggie, just being a better player and a be better character. So, and them just found, found, found my heart. So, just talk a little bit about your family and what this means to to them, your parents, your grandparents. Uh, oh, I mean a lot. Know, it's just because I'm sure they've had their share of sacrifices to get help you get to this place. Oh uh, yes, sir. My whole family, um, from my aunts, all my aunts over there, all my uncles, all the football coaches that they helped me. That's in the stands too. Everybody just been a great part of my life. They helped me. They helped my parents. Put me through sports and more sports. AAU basketball, little league football. They all always came in support. So, but just for my family, just a big old moment. Um, I got cousins that go to different schools. I got a cousin that go to Ridge and They beat us. But my, my family was there to support me, even though my cousin got a real support, rich point. So everybody just show, always show love to me. So I just love my family, and they just mean a lot. So you signed today. When are you going to enroll? Are you going to finish out your senior year here? Yes, sir. Okay. So uh, basketball, let's talk a little basketball, because I've seen you out there on the floor. And actually, before one game, I said, hey, give me a dunk. And I got, got it two, for you. Two I got, minutes into the game. I got it. I got three dunks that game. Um, <laughs> Uh, I feel like we got a good squad this year. We just got ranked number six in, in um, the state, so I just feel like we about to just have a good old, good old basketball year. We're going to play Brook. Brook is the people that we want to play, and a team that we need to beat that's in our district that's a good run for us. So I feel like our basketball year is going to be very good and very great. Yeah, so lastly, I mean, I've seen you move on the basketball floor. A lot of basketball players are good football players because of footwork and coordination. Yes, How does basketball help you be a better football player? Um, slide protection. It helps me with my slide protection. Me moving my feet to get to the places I got to be because basketball, if you don't get to your spot, most of the time, there's a foul. Coach, Coach Wilson always tells us to take the long route. If you're trying to cut somebody off going the baseline or somewhere, take the long route. So it just helps me um, maintain my feet and get in front of people and be in the right spot at the right time. Well, congratulations on today. Enjoy it, and best luck in this season of basketball. All yes, right? sir. Good to see you, man. You too. Perfect. All right, so they're going to take some pictures here, and so we're going to duck out and get out of their way. Yes, uh, I'm going to head up to Noah Thomas. We're good. Thank you, Coach. Yeah. I appreciate it.
So we're going to head up to Noah Thomas here in a few minutes. Then North Shore's at 11. Manville's at 3. Uh, let's see. I'll be heading to Atascacita. Atascacita later on. Donovan, you're going to... Atascacita later on. Uh, for Cam Dewberry, he's deciding between A&M, Texas, and OU. So he hasn't declared yet which way he's going to go. So that'll be... Uh, at 3 o'clock right here on ABC 13 uh, platforms. So thanks for joining me, and we're going to keep moving. Thanks.